99.999% of the seabed remains unexplored. The oceans cover 71% of the Earth's surface. For the majority this area the bottom is located at a depth of more than 200 meters. And though vehicles have been going into these depths for decades, we still don't know much about what's going on there. A recent comprehensive analysis showed that humanity directly explored only a small part of the seabed, especially this below 200 meters deep less than 0.001%. The oceans make up the majority of the Earth's surface. Part of this the area was mapped with satellites and sonar mounted on ships, but when it comes to direct observations, it is most dumps our planet remains unexplored especially deeper parts of it. The recent analysis that appeared in Science Advances showed that a man directly observed a surprisingly small part of the deep seabed less than 0.000%. Scientists from the Ocean Discovery League, Scripps Institution of Oceanography and Boston University calculated based on publicly available data on how much seabed we have managed so far to be directly depicted. In the publication, they indicated that 66% of the Earth's surface they cover water, where the bottom reaches deeper than 200 meters. Although these areas are key to many natural processes on Earth are the least studied in a clear area of our world. The data collected by the researchers showed visually we have observed from 0.006 to 0.001% of this area, which is from 2130 to 3823 it's a square mile. This small and biased sample is problematic when we are trying to characterize, understand, and manage the global ocean, they wrote. Authors in the publication. In addition, nearly 30% of direct observations are black and white, low-resolution images taken before the 1980s. Researchers analyzed about 44,000 in their work. Records collected during registered underwater expeditions that were going deeper than 200 meters. It was carried out by 14 countries. This data does not include private exploration of oil and gas and military operations. We have visuals records of a negligible percent deep seabed, an ecosystem comprising 66 percentage of the surface of the planet Earth the analyst team wrote in the publication. From the 1960s to 2010, the number of immersions under 200 meters it has grown fourfold. This shows great progress, but over time, these explorations they began to focus near the coastline and at smaller depths. In the 1960s, Almost 60% of all submarine expeditions were deeper less than 2,000 meters, but four decades later only a quarter was the same its deep. Most of the expeditions in the depths are carried out up to about 370 kilometers from the coast. More than 70% of them took place in the waters of only three countries, the USA, Japan, and New Zealand. Moreover, since 1958, 97% of all such expeditions have remained conducted by only five countries, the USA, Japan, New Zealand, France, and Germany. In the face of growing threats to the ocean depths from climate change to potential marine mining and resource exploitation this limited exploration of such a vast region becomes critical a problem for both science and politics said Catherine Bell, founder and CEO of the Ocean Discovery League and lead author. We need a much better understanding of deep sea ecosystems and processes in order to make informed decisions about management the resources, she added. Researchers also calculated that the current rate of new observations is 3 square kilometers per year. If the pace is maintained, it will take hundreds of thousands of years to explore the entire sea floor. 
They the estimates show we need a fundamental change in the way we explore the study of the global deep ocean, the authors write.